welcome to Piano Shack with me, Woody. Why don't we continue our tour of Complete 11 Players by Native Instruments by checking out Blocks Wired. This is a modular synthesizer framework that includes three different ready wired synthesizers that you can play with they sound pretty cool now modular synthesis monosynth not really my cup of tea but i have to admit i did enjoy tinkering with them so let's take a look together blocks wired then what is this just in case you don't know let's do a quick recap together so they are giving you three free synths Try saying that yourself, it's not easy. The fastest, easiest entry point to modular synthesis. Premium sound quality delivers legendary synth tone. Yeah, these things sound pretty nice. Distinctive modules provide one of a kind sonic character. And it's a pretty gorgeous GUI as well. It's much better than the other native instruments plugins I've tried. This is probably their most recent offering and they've really made a good job on the GUI, I think. Step into modular synthesis. It's a set of three pre-patched modular synths created with reactor blocks. Okay, so reactor blocks is their commercial product that you have to pay for. Here you're getting three pre-patched synths. You can't change the routing between the different modules, but you can tweak the modules as you want and save your own presets. It runs in the free reactor six player that we took a look at in the last video. So here's the first synthesizer that we will take a listen to today. It's called Lumico. Showcasing two of the new West Coast blocks in Reactor, Lumico captures the classic sound of renowned West Coast monosynths, and I'm led to believe that they are referring to the synthesizers designed and built by Don Buckler. I hope I'm pronouncing his name right. He's one of the very early synth pioneers. While using only a small selection of blocks, it's capable of producing a wide array of unusual and exciting sounds. And this is an FM synthesizer. Let's take a listen and see what it sounds like. Next, we'll look at Submotion, which is more of a traditional subtractive synthesizer, but it does contain a very interesting step sequencer. Let's see. Submotion produces a wide range of step modulated timbres, bass sequences, and dark sequence textures. It's great for generating rhythmic animated overtone structures as well as classic subtractive synth sounds. Let's take a listen to a few presets and see what it sounds like. Bum 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 b
Now, apologies if we're not going into the editing details of these modules, but you've got to realize that would have taken me days, if not weeks, to prepare, and the video would have just gone on for too long. So what I'm hoping to do here is just to give you an example of how these synths look and how they sound, and then I encourage you to go and download them yourself if you want to explore the deeper editing capabilities of these blocks yourself. Finally then, let's listen to XY, which is my favorite of the bunch. It's got a really interesting sequencer. I have no idea how it works, but I'm looking forward to sharing with you some of the sounds. So I hope you enjoyed my high-level overview and demonstration of these three modular synthesizers. If you want any more information or to explore them yourselves, then go ahead and download them. There's nothing to lose. They are completely free. Next time you join me, we will take a look at NI Microprism, which is another one of their free synthesizers. I'll see you then. Thank you very much for watching and for subscribing. See you next time. Cheerio.